Hey guys, it's Jason from Premier Aviation HD and uh, out here at the hangar today shooting a real quick video on a viewer question that's come up a few times. Um, some of you have asked um, how we get those exterior shots without uh, the cameras flying off. That's a great question because uh, believe me we thought long and hard about um, using cameras that you know would hurt the, the pocketbook if we lost them uh, while while filming for the channel. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you a, a low cost alternative to, to maybe some of the more expensive options and what we actually do to get a lot of these uh, these really off the wall external shots. Um, in my hands here I have the item that we use. Uh, it's by a company uh, that's called Fat Gecko. Uh, F-A-T Gecko, Fat Gecko. Um, it's available on Amazon.com for about uh, $25. Um, you may be able to find it a little bit cheaper than that. Um, it's not a GoPro mount, so it will not fit a GoPro camera. But for any other standard camera mount, um, which is, I, b I believe, 3 8 inch, um, it will work. Um, it's basically a ABS plastic suction cup and I'll get a close-up of it here in a second but um, it's got the basic you know press lock um, re release mechanism as well as a, a one uh, axis adjustment um, which I'll kind of zoom in on here in just a moment you can tighten that down these are rated for about 200 miles an hour according to the manufacturers specifications now I don't know if that's actually the case obviously the aircraft that we're flying isn't going 200 miles an hour, but um, we have put this mount through uh, quite a few different um, uh, quite a few different maneuvers. You know, S turns, steep turns, stalls, um, a, a, a few bumpy landings, as you've probably seen. Um, we did have one failure, uh, and it actually happened um, due to how I mounted it. I actually mounted the the cup on the underside of the fuselage back towards the uh, uh, back towards the tow hook and I didn't clean off the area that I attached it to I just kinda spit on the cup I know it's gross but uh, spit on the suction cup attached it and I thought it would hold you know I kinda I, I kinda pulled down on it just a little bit and I thought it would hold um, it actually dropped off the aircraft um, as we were taxiing out to the runway and it was found a couple days later by somebody that was mowing the grass so uh, we've never had a failure in flight um, and I, I, I honestly don't see why we would because it, it does work very very well again you don't have to break the bank so uh, you know if you want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a mounting system or, or something like that you know be my guest but we didn't want to spend a lot of money on something that could potentially come off the aircraft and we still are able to get some really decent shots for not a lot of money. Now I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate how this how this works and I'm also going to show you the camera that we use to get a lot of those external shots. Okay, so here's a close up of the mount itself. Um, as you can see, it's got this the standard threading for uh, you know your basic cameras out there does have the adjustment so you can turn this wheel uh, counterclockwise and then you have a up and down adjustment um, for the position of the camera here's the the press to engage the suction cup and this is the lock when you when you pull that up now if you'll notice it's it's a pretty solid cup there's there's not a lot of give to it um, which is which is nice now the the very first step obviously would be to I'm just going to use this rag for demonstration uh, purposes uh, go ahead and spray down the area that you're wanting to attach the cup so I'm not going to do that right now but uh, spray it down with a a, a cleaner that isn't going to damage the aircraft um, the aircraft's paint but you know I mean even just some distilled water would probably be okay Go ahead and spray that on there, wipe down the area till it's nice and clean and dry. And then what you're going to do is just kind of push down and then lock. 
just like so. Now, I don't have anything on that cup right now, um, and I didn't actually clean down, uh, or I, I didn't actually wipe down the surface that I'm adhering to, and as you can see, I mean, I can move the whole aircraft, the whole plane is moving for me, I'm not really pulling it that hard, but I cannot move that cup. Now, um, with a tiny bit of liquid in there, and uh, actually cleaning off the area, I mean, it's, it's almost as if it's glued on, that's how strong it is. Now, um, at that point, you can at attach your camera, whatever you'd like, and go from there. Now the, the camera that we're using for the majority of our exterior stuff is the Emerson uh, Go Action Cam. Uh, it is um, a very inexpensive camera. You can get one on Amazon for about $35 to $45. Um, again, it's not a GoPro, so don't be expecting GoPro quality from this camera. It does come with a polycarbonate housing. And the one cool thing I did like about it is it does have a uh, LCD um, view screen on the back. The one weak spot of this camera, I will tell you, um, it's not a true wide-angle lens. And actually, the, there's, there's two weak spots. It's not a true wide-angle lens. Two, the buttons are extremely, extremely flimsy. As a matter of fact, um, it dropped off of... Um, um, uh, uh, camera bag that I was using it dropped down and basically just hit the ground so that's not really that far it was in the camera housing at the time the pressure hit these two buttons on top and actually cracked them so I just removed them and I turned the camera on and off with a screwdriver now uh, it's a little bit ghetto but it works and again I'm not too worried if the camera eventually does come off the plane or if it gets hit or smashed it's 35 bucks. I can I can you know, I can get another one. That's not a big deal. So, if you're interested in using that camera, like I said, it does work quite well. You can get some really cool um, angles that you probably couldn't or wouldn't want to get with a more expensive camera. Um, and um, anyway, that's a quick quick rundown on how you can attach a camera to the exterior of your aircraft to do some uh, uh, get some cool action shots when you're doing uh, when you're doing your flights. So, hopefully that answers the questions. Be sure to um, subscribe, Premier Aviation HD, and stay tuned for weekly content, weekly flight videos, and a big announcement coming in November.